Introduction to GUI Level Testing This video will demonstrate the use of GUI Level Testing in Silt Performer. From creating a simple Silt Test test case to running that test case in Silt Performer as a load test. So first let's open Silt Test. Create a new project. I'm going to choose the Classic Agent. I'm going to record a very simple test case against Notepad. The main reason I'm using Notepad is because it exists on every Windows machine, so if you are new to GUI level testing, you can follow the steps in this demo exactly. Open Notepad and click on Enable Extensions. Refresh the list and choose Notepad from the list. Now set a recovery state. This is the state the application will return to in the event an error occurs during execution. Now record the test case. I am just adding some text to Notepad and stopping the recording. Click on Paste to Editor and update the window declarations. Run the test case to ensure it works without errors. Next I need to export the test case. For simplicity, I'm going to choose the desktop. Options to include are export the single silt test package and compile before exporting. Also include extend.ini file. All other options should be unchecked. That completes the silt test portion of the scenario. Moving on to silt performer. Create a new project and choose GUI level and select silt test as the application type. Now click on Model Script and browse for the Silt Test package on the desktop. Choose the script file to load and the test case to use. Now click on Add. Also choose the Use Project Attributes for Session Login checkbox. I'll explain why later. You will notice that the generated script contains only five functions. The first two functions access the project attributes and load the username and password for the session login. The st init session function handles the logon itself. st load project loads the silt test package. st execute test case triggers the actual execution against the application under test. So clicking on project, project attributes. This is a useful feature because it means passwords are obfuscated and not hard coded in the script. Please note that a domain name is usually required for the username and should be added as seen here. So let's run the try script. The try script is successful. Let's fast forward through the workflow and run a test. I have chosen one user queuing workload with zero simulation time. This is the same as running a try script on an agent, except that Windows Terminal Services will now be used. Since we are running within a Terminal Services session, we don't get to see the replay running any longer. We can see that the test is successful and the results show no errors and transaction response times are within the expected range. Now you can still verify that a Windows session is actually being created and the correct applications are launched. Click on Start, Admin Tools, Terminal Services Manager. This is called Remote Desktop Services in Windows 2008 onwards. Click on the Session tab and restart the test. If Windows is configured correctly, you will now see a new session getting created. Now move to the Processes tab. You can see Partner.exe, which is Silt Test, Notepad, which is the application under test, and Silt Performer Agent, all running as expected. Thanks for watching.